Officer, to ask the Scottish Government what action it is taking to help the schools to support children who wish to per, uh, pursue careers in the cultural and arts sector. Expressive arts education in schools plays an important role in supporting young people to enter Scotland's creative industries and positively impacts on our young people's well-being. We remain committed to helping schools to support young people into careers in the culture and arts sectors. For example, the National Career Information and Advice website, My World of Work, has a range of resources and tools to support the exploration of occupations within different sectors, including in the culture and arts sector. Furthermore, developing the young workforce, which is employer-led, also promotes a range of culture-based education and career pathways through their network of dedicated school coordinators and by hosting careers events with employers and the creative industries. Faisal Chaudhry. Thank the Cabinet Secretary for the answer. Uh, yesterday, the Cabinet Secretary for Constitution, External Affairs and Culture announced funding of $6.8 million for the cultural sector in 2023-24. I welcome this news. However, long-term and sustained funding for courses and qualifications must come hand-in-hand hand with this to ensure that, that the cultural sector has the skills and the talent it needs. Can I ask the Cabinet Secretary what discussion have uh, been had with the ministerial colleagues in the cultural sector to ensure that culture is encouraged and kept alive in our educational system? Cabinet Secretary. Presiding officer, I think the member raises a really important point. He will recall I formerly served in this parliament as the culture minister and I recognise the importance very much of culture in terms of the education opportunities and in terms of our school curriculum. In fact, I'm going to Last Wade High School later on this evening uh, for their expressive arts show later today. We are currently actually reviewing our expressive arts curriculum and I think to the member's point there's opportunities through that review. More broadly, uh, there have not been ministerial discussions directly on this point but I'm more than happy to undertake those with Mr Robertson. It's worthwhile saying that that the government has a long-standing investment in relation to culture through the Youth Music Initiative, including £9.5 million in this financial year. That's helping our young people across Scotland to access music-making opportunities and to develop their wider skills and learning. It's hugely important we understand the well-being impacts that culture can have in relation to our education system. And I'm more than happy to discuss this in further detail with my respective ministerial colleague.